Murphy! Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Give me my shit. Yep. Peanuts? You gave me peanuts. Yes. You have to see what time they are. If this is cash, Jew, I'm killing you. Come on. I'm okay with this. Kind. I mean, this is a terrible ho holiday present, but it's still a good present. They're all judging you. That's a good gift. We'll let them decide. <laughs> like, this is what I got. Like, cool gift pieces. Oh, they're good gifts. Mm hmm. Ooh, girl, look at them socks. Cash, the man in black. You're just as bad as I am. You're all black. Blue. It's a dark denim. Ready to ride? Yeah. I just forgot the intro to fucking channel. Welcome folks, Flip Not here. I am currently on my Burt Charlie Davidson 2017 Street Glide that they let me so graciously borrow for a couple of days. Today's like the second day I've had it. You know, the last video you saw me pick it up. This is like my first like in my area type of ride, like my usual routing. Even though Kyle decided to go the wrong way today, who cares? We'll yell at him about that later. Huh, so. Are we gonna get the bad things out of the way first or the good things out of the way first? Because I have both. I have a lot more of one than the other, which I really don't like because I like motorcycles. I don't wanna say anything bad about them. I want people to buy more motorcycles. You know, you walk up to a motorcycle, oh my God, that motorcycle looks cool as hell, man. I wanna get me one of them. And you go, I heard that that dumb idiot called Flip and I said that that motorcycle sucks and because of X, Y, and Z. And then you don't buy that motorcycle that you really like. All you gotta do is kick a leg over it figure it out for yourself. Don't listen to anything that I have to say. It's just my opinion. And I don't have good ones. Hell, these are my friends. Just wave. Yeah, exactly. Jumping off of a road glide and onto a street glide. Here's what I prefer of the street glide than I do over the road glide. First thing first, I like the fact that the infotainment center is lower so you get less sun hitting the screen and it doesn't blind you. I like the fact that the gauges are up high so it's right at my eye level. I don't have to look down for it, it's right there. It's always at the ready. I am pretty much generally neurotic about everything. So when I'm riding, I like to see my mirrors, I like to see my speed, I like to know what's going on. I don't wanna look for it. I like to be there and I like the fact that it is. So this little flip over here I think is fantastic and while we're hanging out in this general area of the motorcycle these speakers are so much better than the road glide i don't know i, I can't imagine that they use different speakers for both of them then again i can imagine that they would use different speakers for everything because you know commerce i'm dreaming of a florida christmas so this street glide appears to be pretty much 100% stock. I do see a couple of Screaming Eagle badges on here. It doesn't feel like there's any performance parts on here. I think that this motorcycle is technically quieter than the Livewire in its current state. Speaking of completely stock motorcycle, man, these handlebars just can't get over it. Because as of right now, I feel like a freaking T-Rex. Whereas on the road glide with whatever handlebars that thing had, I felt like I was driving a boat, like an old man boat. So I get to like lean back and really get out there and just kind of like hang out. Where this one feels a little bit more cramped. And that's something that I'm starting to notice about street glides versus road glides, where it's like the street glide 
for whatever reason you feel like it's just a little bit shorter feel a little bit more cramped pretty sure it's exactly the same everything except for the fender or the fairing whatever you call it Where does, where, where's the cow there's a cow you know all this stopping and going is making it very hard to make a video running the red light. I like the way you think, my friend. Not my bike. Not my bike? Running lights! Yes! <laughs> nope. ABS will not let me lock up the brakes. Neutral is extremely hard to get into this motorcycle. This fully stock motorcycle also has the standard uh, bags. There's only like that much of a difference, but when you're putting in a backpack with a laptop and a camera, that much of a difference is a huge difference I've come to realize. So get the extended bags at least, why not? I'm pretty sure they all come with extended bags at this point. Where'd this come from? Screw you too, man. Screw you too. Oh, you don't know where you're going. What a surprise. Oh, everything's fogging up. Did I close all my vents? I don't know, man. Just like any motorcycle with its flaws, because all motorcycles have their flaws, this one also has a lot of the really cool shit about it. Again, this is just a personal emotional reaction to this motorcycle. I can't explain it in any which way other than this is what a Harley Davidson feels like to me. This is what like, when I'm on this thing, for whatever reason, my brain goes like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2. This is what a Harley Davidson looks like. This is what a Harley Davidson feels like. This is how a Harley Davidson handles. I can't explain it. Yeah, you tell him, pal. Woo! I don't know, man. It vibrates just a little bit more. Maybe it's the fairing being attached to the handlebars. You feel the wind kind of pushing it a bit. That's one of those things where I think that maybe that's where it feels like more of a motorcycle. All the new Harley Davidsons look like modern Harley Davidsons. Not much looks like a classic Harley Davidson. Not much looks like a Harley from the 80s and 90s. This one still does, even with all the upgrades. This one of the few motorcycles that still looks like that biker bagger look. Like it's, it's never gonna change. Like, that side of the motorcycle is never gonna change. This might. And that's one of the cool things about this motorcycle. It's, it's a, it still has that like modern vintage thing. Just like the Bonneville actually, if you think about it. That's what makes it cool. It's, an, it's a rad motorcycle. Yes, I really wish that this one had better bars. Yes, I wish it had better exhaust. But beggars can't be choosers, you know. Is that what we're doing, Kyle? All right, we're almost back to BSG. I'm gonna let Kyle take it for a quick spin, see what he thinks about it. I'm curious, because he's very intrigued by it. hazard I think. The alarm's going off, one or the other. Right on, right on, just spin the alarm. Still flashing. Just so everyone knows that it's my first time riding a bagger. <laughs> <laughs> Some hydraulic clutches dude, god damn. Yeah. Workout. I swear that dent was there when we left. <laughs> Not my bike. Hey. What'd you do? Yeah, I enjoyed it. That's my <laughs> shit, man. So we meant to film today and we got really distracted with a lot of other things. Oh, that 
the feet still No! There's no break time. <laughs> Well, yesterday got interesting to say the least. Uh, let's just say that Kyle and I decided to kind of have our own little Christmas party for ourselves and our close group of friends. And, uh, yeah. Getting pretty good at shotgunning White Claws. You should try it sometime. It feels like a freaking chainsaw going down the back of your throat. It is Sunday morning and after last night, I need a few provisions before we hit the shop to meet up with the rest of the miscreants. First stop, Publix. Apple Watch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry, pardon me. Thank you. Oh, look at that. I left the bike on this entire time. I'm an idiot. I have an idea. It's been a minute. Tom Waits Radio. Ladies and germs. There we go. <clears throat> ah, you big big motorcycle Next stop the liquor store Folks, if you don't know what's going on right now You will shortly Till then Number two, and we can almost start the day again. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Vodka. Ah, okay. I like Smirnoff. I'm a Smirnoff guy. I, I hate plastic bottles. Yes, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Where do I find those? Oh. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you, my friend. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Supplies acquired. Let's, I'll see you all back at BSG. I wasn't joking when I said I wanted Bloody Mary today. Stand by the bar cart without yeah. pulling out a power stance or a knife. Yeah. Bar cart's ready. We're just missing one thing. Welcome to Navar. Uh, last night we got a little uh, thick and heavy into it, and today Bloody Marys are necessary, so we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this correctly. The main mistake everybody makes in making Bloody Marys is that they build right in the glass, they don't dilute it, 
so it gets really thick and chunky and it's like, you're drinking tomato soup, man. I want a Bloody Mary. So let's make a Bloody Mary. Building in your shaker, start your Bloody Mary mix. I'm gonna say about a good glug or two. One, two, three glugs, yeah. Three glugs. Worcestershire sauce. Uh, careful, this comes out a little quick. You don't want to use too much. And, oh, no. Tabasco, as always. This is on personal preference. Lemon. Fresh squeeze lemon juice. If you're ever gonna do anything, folks, do it right. Don't forget the celery salt. That's a lot. One more, there we go, it's perfect. Now, for the vodka. Yeah, I picked up Smirnoff. I prefer Smirnoff. Jenna got some uh, Tito's, that's what she got. Oh yeah, thanks monkey shoulder. Add ice. Shake the bejesus out of it. If I was serving to an actual patron at the bar, I'd get some fresh ice and I would strain this. But this is for me. What the hell do I care? Pour right in the glass. Add some more ice. Don't forget your garnishes. One pearl onion, one stuffed olive, one stuffed pepper. Bloody Mary time. Oh yeah, that makes me happy. Set up for that. Ooh, hey baby. Chill, sir. Hell yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Hey, I'm out of glass for so. Yeah, thank you, dude. Mm. Good. Bloody Mary's made. I'm clocking out. It's my turn to have some fun. Much better. We got a full house in the shop today, and uh, I ain't got nothing to do but drink. But there's one thing we have that I had been, you know, it's a continuation of yesterday. Might as well continue it today. burnouts and Bloody Marys for this one video. Uh, next video we're probably doing the beard of the Kyle on the road glide. Oh, or yes. Street glide? Street glide. Black bike? Yeah, that, that, that black one. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll probably take turns on that one. I'm down for it, man. I love that bike. So, uh, folks, you know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And Kyle, catch on the flip side. Bye, you got it right. <laughs>